Okay, you know, we rarely ever talk about the places that we stay, but this one was just a little too amazing to not share with you. This is Kennedy Castle in Ireland. Kennedy Castle was built in 1209. You heard me right, more than 800 years ago. I just happened to find this because it was kind of just on our way and it was it was a great, great location. But what really surprised us when we got here was one, they have two restaurants. There's a dungeon bar, there's a restaurant upstairs. They've got a great little breakfast nook. One of the tables is in that tower right behind me. So the inside is just really incredible. Our bedroom, no no joke, this, this bed, is it's more than a king size bed. It's literally two double beds fitted together inside this massive four poster bed. It's insane huge. All four of us are sleeping in one bed, essentially. Really cool place, there are weddings, it's a venue for all sorts of things. They have this cool outdoor bar, which if it were a little bit warmer, I think I would be sitting out there. But on top of all those cool things inside the castle, they've got archery, they've got horseback riding, there are amazing bike trails. So if I had a mountain bike with me, I would definitely be doing those. We went on like a two mile hike today and it was just gorgeous through these amazing forests back here. So if you do come to Kennedy Castle, you'll find all sorts of cool things like Teresa and Woody and maybe some things having to do with fairies. But there's also this amazing cross. It was carved in the 10th century. People, that's like 900 AD, like absolutely so cool to me. Anyway, this thing is super old. It's a beautiful little national monument just stuck here on the grounds just a stone's throw from the castle. Just another one of those cool little finds you find here at Kennedy Castle. So when you come and you stay in places like Kennedy Castle or these great houses all over the world or even tiny little ones, you're really supporting preservation efforts. This is eight, more than 800 years of history right here and it's something that we should all take pride in and try to build up, right? So for the price of like maybe staying at a Holiday Inn, I get to stay in a castle and I get to support something that has been around far longer than I ever have, right? So stay in these places and know that you're not only just doing good and getting something great out of it, you're also doing something good for the future. So for those of you who want to stay, and I've kind of piqued your interest about this place, let me just tell you they've got a couple different menus. The breakfast menu, oh my gosh, oatmeal porridge. Let me tell you, with it has Irish whiskey and cream on top. Holy cow, it was so good. Um, there's just all sorts of really great foods. My kids have enjoyed the pasta. There's just a ton of stuff, right? So if you are really interested in this, you can book online and just check out all the stuff. Oh, you might even find that there's a room that might have a really little ghosty in there. Okay, so if you can't tell, I really like this place. And I think if you happen to be in the middle of Ireland, you should absolutely check it out.